We'll begin removing the bones from the breast by locating the spinal column directly against the back of the rib cage. Place the knife on either side of the spinal column to cut through the back of the rib cage. Grasp the tip of the keel bone firmly and cut through the backbone to remove the spinal column. Be sure to get as close to the spinal column as possible. Once again, place the blade of the knife against the spinal column with the tip of the knife extending into the neck cavity. Push down and pull back to make a clean cut. Once the spinal column is removed, you can clean the fat away to expose the keel bone. Next, place the knife at the top of the white cartilage located just above the red center of the keel bone. Gently cut into the white cartilage, taking care not to cut too deeply and crack the keel bone. This will cause the bone to split later. Now gently score the center of the white cartilage located at the bottom of the keel bone. Be careful not to press too hard, you just want to cut through the outer membrane. Now you're ready to grasp the breast firmly with your thumbs placed on either side of the red center of the keel bone. Gently pop the keel bone free and run your finger or your thumb between the keel bone and the connected tissue to completely expose the bone. Grasp it firmly and pull up to remove. If it sticks, you may have to turn it side to side sometimes to break it free. Once again, cut through the white cartilage located at the top of the red center of the keel bone. Be careful not to cut too deep. Next, score the center of the white cartilage located at the bottom of the keel bone and place your thumbs on either side of the red center of the keel bone and gently pop the keel bone free. If your bone does crack as this one has, you can still separate it from the rib cage and use your fingers or thumb to separate the keel bone from the connective tissue. This will make it easier to grasp firmly and pull up to remove. Next, place the boning knife blade with the edge facing the center of the breast. Gently slide the tip of the blade under the connective tissue and push forward to cut the membrane. Repeat this motion, making slight adjustments in your starting point until the connective tissue is completely separated all along the side and out through the tip of the breast. This will allow you to grasp the separated membrane and lift to trace along the rib cage. Make sure your knife is facing into the bone and not into the flesh. This will allow you to not leave too much flesh on the carcass, which is the true mark of a good cutter. Next, place the shoulder joint firmly against the cutting board. Slide the tip of the boning knife through the shoulder joint. This will finish removing the rib cage from the breast. Once again, place the blade with the edge facing the center of the breast. Pushing forward creates a cutting surface that allows you to cleanly remove the connective tissue. Lifting the separated membrane allows you to trace the rib cage with the tip of the boning knife and maximize your yield by cleanly removing the flesh from the rib cage.
you should be able to see the shoulder joint down. Once the shoulder joint is exposed, push the joint against the cutting board. Cut through the shoulder joint with the tip of the knife and this will allow you to continue to remove the rib cage from the breast. Next, we find the tendon that connects the tenderloin to the shoulder joint. Gently pull the tendon towards the top of the breast. Place the blade of the knife under the tendon and cut up into the tendon at an angle to remove. Be careful not to pull too hard and separate the tenderloins from the breast. Now we'll repeat the process on the remaining breast lobe. Remember to have the blade with the edge of the knife facing the center of the breast and to push forward to create a cutting surface. Also remember that lifting the dislodged membrane allows you to trace the rib cage with the tip of the knife to remove the bones as cleanly as possible. Now we're going to check for the wishbone. If you've broken the wishbone, you can find it with your fingers. Grasp it firmly and twist to expose the wishbone more thoroughly. You can cut it out if you have to, but most of the time you'll be able to pull it out with your fingers. Next we're going to check for skin coverage. The skin protects the flesh when cooking so adequate skin coverage is crucial. Finally we can separate the two lobes of the breast by cutting where the keel bone left a track. Cut on either side of the remaining cartilage and trim the excess fat. Remember, you want adequate skin coverage without excess, so trim accordingly. Check for any stray pieces of connective tissue that might remain. Clean cuts, no connective tissue, clean bones, and proper handling of usable scraps are all the hallmarks of good meat fabrication skills.